Hi, I'm Judy. Welcome to Long Island, New York. How are you this morning? Um, I'm here to talk about eyelash extensions and how it's a great business and really um, changed, I guess you could say it changed my life because I went from a crossroads to being so busy that my business just blew up. I love this business. We're in the business of making people not only feel good, but look good. And lashes are definitely a life changer. You'll be in the bathroom brushing your teeth and you'll look up and take a double take and you'll be like, oh wow, I look so good already. And you put on a little foundation, lipstick, and you're ready to roll. Lashes extensions have been around for a pretty long time, for at least around, I'd say 20 to 30 years. I've been doing lashes about five years now and I'm, I'm very very busy it's a great business because it is a residual business so people come in for their sets they love it so much that they want to come and maintain them which a maintenance is every two to three weeks to do a, a fill because your eyelashes are always falling out so when the eyelashes fall out you go in you replace them you have the growth you have the lashes that haven't fell out that are hanging on and they're all wonky because the natural lash has gotten so long. So you remove those and you replace them with the extension. Now, a little bit about the extensions. Extensions come in a variety of lengths, a variety of thicknesses, a variety of materials. There's real hair ranging from mink to fox to human hair. There's synthetic minks, there's cashmere, and there's also silk. Now the lashes that I prefer to use that I just love because I like the way that they look on, I use synthetic mink eyelashes, and these happen to be flat eyelashes, which means that they're flat at the bottom and they have a little groove, so the glue sits in there nicely, and then when you put it on the client, it holds up very well. And then I also, over here, I also like to use real mink lashes. And if you just look real fast, you can just see the difference. Uh, the synthetic mink, these are, are light. However, the hair, these are 100% mink lashes, are very light. You don't feel it. Now, they do create different looks. I could create a nice natural look with the synthetic minks which look like uh, you have mascara on. Oh, those are your lashes, they look really good. Looks like you have mascara on. Now the real hair is nice to use because it gives that look without having that mascara look on there. It's, remember uh, the five-year-old kid who has those beautiful, thick, long lashes? That's the kind of look you get with the mink lashes. Now lashes come in different lengths you get very small lashes, which are uh, 6 mm's all the way up to 17's, probably a little bit longer. I just don't like to do longer than the 14 millimeters because your lashes do get tangled, you sleep on your face, you rub your eye by accident and they get tangled and then when the client goes to brush them, what are they doing? They're going to brush out their lashes because lashes are aren't always straight up either. I noticed over the years that I've been doing it, lashes get wonky and, and kinky where they do cross over naturally. So if they're gonna brush them, I always say just brush the tip of the lash and to straighten them out, which normally works. Uh, now, also besides the length is the thickness and you get a thickness of 0 0.07 all the way up to 0.25. The thicker the lash, it's going to look more like you have that eyeliner look on. Uh, and then with the synthetic materials or the man-made materials, you can um, decide which length and which thickness you want. However, with the real mink, you can't because it is real hair. So whatever comes out of the case, is that's the thickness. And it's usually around a 0 
there's also different styles of lashes, the different looks. You have the natural look, you have a dramatic look, you have the volume look. There's also the hybrid look, which is a combination of these two lashes on the person, depending on what your client is looking for. So you always want to meet your client, greet your client. I have everybody fill out a consent form because you can have an allergy to the glue and you won't know until you put the lashes on. So there's different types of glue. There's, uh, you have the low fume glue, which all glues pretty much have a, a fume to it, which means that when you open up your eye, it feels like you were cutting onions or you got a little soap in the eye. So what I do, I always give somebody a little fan so they can start to fan themselves. And as the glue's drying, that feeling dissipates. And the glue does get a little temperamental with the humidity. So it's always good to have about a 40 to 50% humidity in the room. And you can get one of those little humidity readers for, for that. Uh, you have to keep it dry for 24 hours. And I always tell my clients, especially new clients, to try to keep them dry as well as the next couple of days when you take a shower don't take a crazy hot shower because the glue is not gonna bite it. It's gonna get a little bit tacky and then the lashes are gonna stick together. Also, a good tip with that is to take the blow dryer and just put it on cool and it helps dry the glue up again. So you have all those different types. Now the different types of lashes with the dramatic to the volume sets to a classic set a classic set would be matching one lash for one lash for every lash that you see so that would be a classic set so if you have 10 lashes yourself you're going to get 10 extensions if they want volume that's where you start putting more than one of the extensions on the person's lash to create a volume look and if you look here you can get an idea of what it looks like over here this is her naked eye and then you can see that she has the lashes on and then this is a very natural look does everybody see that and then over here i have another picture this would be a volume set you could see that it's thicker and how it looks a little bit thicker at the baseline with that and then down here is a lash lift and tint, which is also a nice service to offer your clients. It's their natural lashes that has the lash lift in it. So we went over the styles, the lash types, the lash length. Um, then there's also the tools that are a must for to do your lashes. You have to have your tweezers. This would be a separated tweezer to separate the lashes to isolate you got one lash or a couple of lashes and then you have your curve tweezer which helps put the lash right on to the person's extension now I have two sets of tweezers so I have one set that's in the sterilizer and then I have one set that I'm working with so this way I, I'm not using the same tweezer on the client back to back so it's always sterile and what I do also this was a good little trick that I have to pat myself on the back with I put a piece of tape on so I know that when I uh, grabbing the tweezers I have a mental note in my head which tweezer I use last so I'm not doing any cross contamination um, you have tape now I like the tape to tape down the lower lashes not only to tape down the lower lashes to keep them out of my way I like the contrast that it gives me and it gives me a chance to really see the person's individual lashes after you do a few different people or do about 10 people you start really to get that eye hand coordination and that also helps with your speed I think doing lashes too you're doing art on somebody so every person that you do is your walking billboard or your advertisement which is nice uh, marketing strip also there's also different types of tape I like to use this medical tape because it, it doesn't get all gooey because they have those big tape uh, tapes that have the collagen in it and I just found that it moved around a lot and that it did get goopy as the person heats up that heats up and then just gets a little bit messy also a must you have your glue which the glues 
once you open it up it lasts about three months and you do have to shake it up now there's different strengths of glue I like to use uh, this is a medium glue so it does have fumes you have stronger glue so which means that the fumes are a little bit stronger and then you have the lighter glue or for your sensitive clients the low fume glues which they're good for those clients that might have an allergy always do a spot check so you always do a spot check just to make sure that they don't have that allergic reaction however something has to give it's not as strong it's watered down a little bit so to speak so are they going to get a great hold on it uh it's just going to last a little bit less length of time which is fine if they want that look that that's fine i like to use mag readers and not only do i use mag readers when i do lashes i also have i use my mag lamp not only do i use the mag lamp to put a little extra light I like to look through the mag lamp and that just gives me a whole nice view of the person's lashes okay so we have that and then you have your glue you have your glue remover when they come in for a fill you have that you don't want to pull their lashes out you don't want to cut their lashes out you just want something that's going to eat at the glue and that is this is the glue remover also you want to use oil free products because oils do break down the glue as well so if a person who has very oily skin oily hair it's going to reduce the length of the glue's hold if they touch a lot rub a lot tearing it's not good uh, tanning beds because now you have heat directly on the glue on the person's eye so that's also going to reduce the length anything that's really going to be over a 60 percent humidity and then you have your glue rings which you just put the glue in and as you're doing the person's lashes you take a lash you dip you slide i also use the tape as a little palette so i could just dab it a little bit and just take off the little extra glue and then i just put it right on their lash which is excellent and then you also have the separator that you're using okay so we went over the tools and uh, again it's a game changer because it saves the women time in the morning that they're not sitting there putting on their mascara they don't have to worry about their mascara making them look like they have raccoon eyes and they're getting a nice nice length i always like to start when i have a new client to just match up the length of their lash to the extension because you don't realize how long your lashes actually are because they get tapered at the top so we have that so the client comes in you do their lashes you have a nice conversation because now you have a nice rapport with your client and customer service is always so important too you want to treat the person like you want somebody to treat you they're coming into your place so it's like they're coming into your home so you definitely want to make sure that you're running on time I always schedule about 15 minutes in between each client so I have time to clean up to sterilize to switch over the bed to put a, a clean sheet of wax paper down so they're not laying on the other person and then you just get started for new clients again I always have them fill out in consent a consent form because you just want to make sure that you're keeping yourself shape safe also and before they leave i sell packages too i have packages for new clients that include the set and the discounted fills so now you're, you're creating that residual business and don't just keep coming and again there you're working wa walking billboard so they're going to come they're going to see their friends oh my god where'd you get your lashes from and they're going to refer their friend to you so before they leave you definitely want to uh, schedule that next appointment sell their package or you could do the fills a la carte it's important to find out what people are charging in your area so that you're not overcharging or even undercharging because this is your livelihood also uh, and then you just give them some directions you can have little kits you could give them a spoolie before they leave you could give them some eyelash cleanser you could 
have a little bit of this special eyelash mascara on there that helps with the bonding or the coating of the lashes. Uh, I love what I do. I love the women that I see. I've had women come to me for a, a while now and it's just a great business and you could definitely grow from here. I also, you do have to be an esthetician. Always check your state laws to see what they allow what they don't allow if you're in the New York area I do offer the certification course which I'd love to meet people also that way are the people that are in the business so we could just talk and get to know each other and now you have a nice little network if you have any questions or anything like that my name is Judy I am from Beauty by Judy and my website is Beauty by Judy li Dot com again beauty by judy li.com and the li is for long island and i hope to see you soon have a great day